So for today, we are doing this beautiful fall eye. I love it. I think it's so freaking cute. So freaking cute. So today, I'm going to be using these pigments from J. LaRue Cosmetics. I'm actually going to show you guys how I use pigments and how versatile they are. So whether I'm using it for a wing liner, on the lid, or as a simple eyeshadow, I'm going to show you guys how I use these. These are stunning, okay? So let's get started okay so first things first we're starting off patting out our base you want to evenly distribute it all over the lid and make sure that it's even and not too wet and of course drag it out here a bit then I just take my finger and I just pat it all out This ensures that any application will be even. Because we are dealing with loose pigments, I want to ensure that the green doesn't fall on my face and mess up my foundation. So I'm using setting powder. This is actually the J. LaRue Cosmetics setting powder. So finely milled. I love it. So we're just going to go right under there just so it can catch anything that falls on our face. We can reapply our blush, but no one wants green messing with their foundation. No one. First shadow I'm going in with is just going to be a light brown eyeshadow. Just something near your skin tone. You just need something for this to blend into. So we're just going to toss that into the crease. Now, remember what I told you guys. I like my shadow in my brow hairs. If you don't, don't do it. I get so many questions on like, why do I put it in my brow hairs? It's just to soften them up. I like my shadows to be very into my makeup as far as like it going into my nose contour, as far as it going into my brow hairs. I just happen to like my makeup like that. Okay, so now we're going into our pigments pumpkin spice this is my favorite this is the like a cheese doodle color it is so pretty so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pack it onto the base literally just pack it one pigment has five times more pigmentation than shadow so Instead of having to build up an eyeshadow, you could just literally lather your lid with these. So I made sure to reapply just a little bit of my eyeshadow base just so this pigment has something to stick onto, adhere to. That way there's no fallout, which there's no fallout. Um, just wanted to show you guys that as long as you have a wet base, it'll stick. Now we're going to go in with a, a little bit of a darker brown. You saw how I almost dropped that. I'm just going to tap that onto my brush. And I'm going to go right into the crease. Just to kind of diffuse it a little bit. Oh yeah. And always remember to bring it inwards and then out. So now it is time for me to map out my liner. So I'm gonna take this liner from House Laboratories. This is in the shade hunted it's like a really really dark green i think i used this before but if i didn't i love this one this formula is amazing so i'm going to draw my wing liner and then i'm going to use the pigment to adhere it to the stickiness of the liner so here we go
Go as thick as you want with your wing. Okay, so to create my own liquid green liner, I have a little bit of a white base and the J. LaRue Cosmetics Camouflage uh, Pigment, and I'm just going to mix those two together. It's going to create a green that will be manageable to put on the lid. Got to stay creative, guys. When you don't have it, create it. Okay. So, this is what I'll be using first to put down. So, I mapped out with the green liner. I could easily go ahead and apply the pigment to the liner, but I want to prevent green fallout. So, I created my own liner. So now I'm just gonna take the camouflage pigment and I'm just gonna set it. So I'm waiting for my lash glue to dry and I just brushed away the J. LaRue Cosmetics um, setting powder. The way that just blurred my pores. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So I set this side and I can't see my pores either. I guess this is just me realizing. Wow. Wow. new fave i am using the shade mahogany obsidian yes oh that's pretty okay so now we're gonna start working on our bottom lash line we're just gonna take that same eyeliner we created the wing with and go right in the waterline and then start to like get it a little bit under so you just smudge it out. So now using the pigment in the shade Camouflage, I'm stamping it to the um, eyeshadow so it can stick. And as you can see, there's no fallout, which is why you gotta work fast. And keep it equal with your wing because this is what's going to like pull it back for you. So with a little bit of the J. LaRue pigment in the shade Camouflage, I'm literally just going to smudge it all out. This is just to drag it down some. Normally I would use a lighter shade to do this, but I like just how dark and green this area is. So I decided to just do it this way. So for the inner corner, I'm going to be using white gold, which is, do you see that? Stunning. So I'm going to take white gold. I have a little bit of glitter glue down and this is going to go right in the inner corner. So just pressing it on top of that glitter glue. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but this is gorgeous. 
all right we are all done you guys this eye came out so freaking pretty i think they're just like the tones the very earthy tones is just like giving me fall 2020 um i love the way this came out the rhinestones were like a cute little add-on to the look um overall just gorgeous i wanted to show you guys different ways you can use pigments and the way i use them so be sure to check out j larue cosmetics check out their pigments i'll let you guys know once again i use pumpkin spice that's on the lid white gold in my inner corner and camouflage which is smudge under my lash line and this is what i created my wing liner with and don't forget that as long as the base is sticky the pigment will stick if you have any other questions shoot me a dm i'm always glad to help leave me some recommendations for our next video and yeah until next time you guys